G'day guys, how are you going? Just a quick update. Um, today Jace came um, to put a few of the ceiling battens up and stuff like that in the kitchen because um, tomorrow morning he's going to stick it up. So he's, I'll just give you a rundown. So he's stuck all those up ready to go. As you can see, Pete's uh, got all the stuff here for the down lights and everything like that. Um, also what I've done is, uh, you can see here, that I've, what I've done is marked here, it says 100 mil pipe, so that's the uh, for the fan exhaust for the for the ambient toilet, and also I've just marked um, where the where the steel is, you know. So later on down the track, when the ceiling's up, and we're going to put a downlight here, we can see oh, okay we're going to hit something or not, you know. So it just makes it heaps easier later on. So I've just done that all the way along, so uh, that can yeah later on I'm not hitting drilling a hole and hitting another beam or something like that. Um, so I've got a fan because um, these have to be the bathrooms has to be have to have, have to have an exhaust fan. So I've got an exhaust fan uh, for this bathroom, um, and it's got also got an LED light in it as well. So that's uh, it's for the ambulance toilet. Um, I, I bought two of the same, but Pete, being Pete, he's checked his regulations, and in the disabled you have to have a rating of IP4, which is a better rating or something like that. So. Um, I've had to go and change it and find a um, find a fan that's got um, that rating on the IP4 rating, so you can have it over the shower. So there's all these regulations that I didn't know about, which is good. You know, I got it to sort, so I've just stuck the ducting onto it, and that's ready to go. Then, so what you do is you just cut the hole, cut the hole in, and then you just slot that thing in, and then you push it up into the hole and, and lock it in. And I've also got a light that goes on that as well. Also, I was stressed about the hot water system. We had to check that and make sure it was uh, so it's just out of the just out of the range too. So that's an IP4 as well. Um, so that that's all legal too. So that's what we're up to. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have some ceilings. So this will get very dark, and then um, we'll have to you know put some spotlights up when we're working in here. And then hopefully I can get the painter. Oh, he's still got the uh, you know the, the main office to do as well. He's put up a few of the beams, ready to go. But um, anyway, we're moving along. Oh, another thing I had too is that we've, um, I don't know if I told you this before, but because I've got this hole here, there's a whole bunch of wires that go down. So I want to get a, a TV for the toolbox meeting so we can see, you know, watch safety videos and, and put the computer up on the, on the big screen. Um, so Pete, the electrician, said, how about why don't we just put a stud wall there and then put the, put the TV in there. Then we can run all the wires for the HDMI cables and computer cables and just do what we want. So, that's what we're going to do there. So um, Jason's going to um, do that for me, so we can uh, embed it over there. So when the table is here, in the end for the toolbox meeting and stuff, that means we could have a like a, a wireless mouse and, and keyboard, and you could have all all the stuff up on the screen so we can all see it. G'day guys, how are you going? Okay, ceiling fixes come come in today. I'll just show you uh, how they've gone. So here it is. So ceilings are all up. Okay, so it looks really good. So obviously, once that dries, um, then they, you know, sand it, sand it all back and everything. So, must say, a uh, little bit depressing having the ceiling in because it was really nice to have the, the light from upstairs um, and, and you know that, that airiness sort of feel. So yeah, it's it's darkened up a, a fair bit. But you know, again, I'm, I'm real I'm real glad I've, I've I'm going to change this door out to a window because you can really see. I'll show you when I um so. I'll close the door now, you'll see how, how much darker the whole room gets, you know. So just by having that a window, it's gonna make a, you know, a big difference. So yeah, anyway, that's that's how it is. You need ceilings, don't you, to hold stuff up and put the lights in and that. So once the down lights go in everything, it'll look really good, I think. Um, painted and, I'm, you know, I'm just, Brendo, thanks for the idea of that wall, mate. It just looks fantastic. Uh, as you can see, he started the, the stud wall a little bit, so I've just got to get the TV size now. Um, that's got to go in there um, so we can have our, you know, it's, it's mainly for, so when we show videos on safety and things like that, and then we can all look at jobs together and discuss them um, about how we can do things safer and better and that sort of thing. So that's good. Uh, kitchen too, you see it's gotten a whole lot darker now, so you can see in there. I'll just see if I can turn the light on for a sec. I'll just put these, uh, this one on here. Not yet, so that's lit, lit it up a bit so you can see the, so the kitchen, you know, again, it's, it's, it is a little bit depressing having the ceiling in, but you know, I need the upstairs anyway, so um, that, that'll be all right when it's all, all done. So yeah, it's sort of coming together now. So we, we've ordered the kitchen cupboards. 
Um, so that's on the on the way. He's given me some good advice too on that. Um, so I don't think he's done much in the. Yeah, he hasn't done anything in the in the disabled toilet yet or anything like that. Oh, but um, yeah, should be right. We've had a bit of rain uh, over the past few days, so it's turned up quite a few leaks. Um, so on the floor here, you can see there's a leak here. Um, so it's mainly these um, whirly birds that they're coming. These three whirly birds are causing issue here. And then a couple of joints um, around the back here too. I got up on the ladder the other day and just put a, a mark around where they were dripping out. And so when the weather's a bit better, I'll go up on the roof and see, see what's happening with that. But uh, it's coming together great. So yeah, I think it'll make a, you know, make a big difference once the walls are painted, it'll, it'll brighten it all, all up again. So anyway, that is it for today. And um, so they'll probably be sanding it and do another thing. So. I've got to get in touch with the painter now, if he still remembers me, because uh, back when I got him, it was when I was just going to give it a lick of paint, renovate the bathroom, that was it, until I knew that the uh, mezzanine was built so dodgily and unsafe. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.